Hi, this is Oren Zucker, and on behalf of Dan Everts, this is a quick tutorial on how to prepare your design to use in Motion Monkey. If you're working in Illustrator or Photoshop, there's a few things you should keep in mind. The first is that you need to break your art into layers. Put some thought into how you want your art to animate on. Whatever you decide, each layer will need to be separated out. Also, if you're planning on using the color palette in Motion Monkey to override the colors in your design, the way it applies the colors is that it will cycle through the five colors and assign different color to each layer in sequence. So, if you have each letter broken down into layers, you might want to treat them in Illustrator or Photoshop, unless you want each letter to be a different color. Alright, so let's go through how to create these layers. To do this, you first get your grouping set. Some of these are grouped as words, others as letters. Then go into the Layers submenu and click Release to Layers, Sequence. Each layer should now be its own color. Once that's done, select all the layers and drag them to the top of the layer menu. The last thing you need to do is select all the layers again and reverse the order. Make sure it's in the order that you want it to appear in. Technically, you can leave it backward and select bottom from the layer order dropdown, but it might be easier to work this way. Each layer represents a moment in time. So if you want to pause, one way to go about it is to insert some blank layers in your art at the point you want those pauses to take place. You can also insert null objects in After Effects later. There's other ways of inserting pauses, like moving the markers after the build is done, but that's no easy task since After Effects doesn't handle markers like it does keyframes. We've posted a lot of strategies about placing markers on the product page, so check that out when you get the time. Once you have your art set, how you import it makes another huge difference in the nature of your animation. If you import it with footage dimensions set to layer size, the rotation of the layer will be based on its center point, or whatever you have selected in the anchor section. If you have it set to document size, the anchor point will be based on the size of the entire image. Each layer will share a common anchor point. This can have some pretty cool results that could dramatically change how the motion works. After importing the art, you can go into the composition and rearrange it however you see fit. Motion Monkey will resolve the animation with your layout in the state that it is in at the moment the build is created. But be aware, if you change a layer's order before the build, it'll change the time the layer appears. Once your build is complete, you can still go in and change a layer's position and order in the timeline, so you can drop things to the back or bring things forward. You just can't change the timing without adjusting the markers. Remember, each layer is parented to its control layer, and each control layer is parented to the one before. So, moving layers will affect everything that comes after it. If you don't want to do that, manipulate the image layer itself. The best way to go about this is to use the unshy text and image layers in the free monkey tools utility that comes with all of our scripts. Check out the demo on the product page. There's a few tools on AE Scripts that I'd recommend you get to help speed up the creation of your layered art. I'll list them in the description area. So that's it. Good luck with Motion Monkey, and please send us some of your samples so we can post them up on the product page.